Hello, welcome to Tony's Bonsai. I received two packages in the post today. A tree, which is a cork bark Chinese elm, which I'm really happy with. But I also got a load of seeds, some Japanese maple and some crab apples from Jason, a fellow YouTuber. And I'm going to get these planted in a moment after I've quickly shown you this tree. I purchased this cork bark elm hopefully to propagate it. I want to do some cuttings and I found this one online. I can't really remember the exact price if I'm honest. I think it was about, it was about 50 pounds, 40, 50 pounds, something like that. And it's got a lovely small leaf. So let's take a slightly closer look. For its size, it's got a really nice thick chunky trunk with some movement in it. It's got some good taper. This major branch, which is, let me turn it round here, kind of comes from the inside of a bend, which is not ideal. It'd be better from this side, but I can always take that off and grow new branch structure as I want with this. But my plan, as I say, is to put this in the ground, grow it uh, and use it to harvest cuttings. Now to get on with planting these seeds that Jason kindly sent me. And I'm going to start with the Japanese maples. I've just mixed up some fresh soil and I've got a nice tub here. I decided to go with a relatively inorganic soil. So the majority of it is perlite and agricultural grit, but I have included some uh, pine bark. So I think that should be a really free draining, good mix for sowing these seeds in. Apparently, this is a mixture of around 20 different species of Japanese maple, which is really, really exciting. I'll just take a few out here just to take a look at what we've got. They're all different sizes, different colours. And I can't wait to uh, hopefully see these germinate. So all I'll do is, I'll just sprinkle a few across the surface like that. I'm not going to plant all of these. I'm just going to just sow a few like that. Any that are together, I'll just break in half, throw them down and just loosely cover the surface with them like that. I'll try and get some right from the bottom in case the small ones have gone down there and and just spread some around here like this. See these are tiny these little ones got little tiny yellow ones we've got these bigger ones with a dark edge very red ones so there's, there's a whole variety I decided to hold some of the seeds back so that I can have another go, possibly in the spring or later in the year, maybe stratifying them or trying some other techniques. But for the time being now, all I have to do with these seeds is just cover them in a fairly thin layer of the same, the same soil. You know, so I'm not burying them down too deep. You've got to think about the natural sort of cycle of these seeds and what, what they would do in the wild. They would fall and they would kind of land in just bits of leaf, leaves on the surface. You know, they're not designed for going down six inches in a load of wet, heavy soil. You know, they want to be just like that, nice and light. And all I'll do now is water those in and leave them. Next up, we've got some Hall's crab apple, which again, Jason kindly sent me. We've got a little packet with several of these seeds in, and I'm going to try and germinate again. What's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven seeds in this pot. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, and seven. So I put those in the same and then just give them a, just a covering, a basic covering, a bit of soil like that and see how they do. And finally, we've got these beauties. These are actually four crab apples off his tree. It's his favorite bonsai that he got from Herons, Herons, I believe. Look how gorgeous they look. They're absolutely stunning. I love them. So I've zoomed in close on these. I still can't get over how amazing they look. <laughs> I must just love miniaturization, but they're just like a small, tiny apple. Now what I'm going to do is see if I can get the seeds out of them. Oh, they're quite tough. I had no joy with my fingers, so I've got the trusty old gym pliers out and just, just crush it up. And there are the seeds inside. Fantastic, look at that. Perfect. I'm not gonna say it again. Go on then, I will one more time. It's just like a mini apple. <laughs> and these are, these are fantastic, look at that. So they look. Yeah, excellent, so that's four nice seeds out of that apple. I'll open the next one up the same. I've used the pliers because I don't want to chop any of the seeds in half. And I think if I crush them, it'll just kind of release them like this. So that's a nice big juicy seed, which is what you want. Whether those little ones will make it, I don't know. But it's worth having a go at planting them anyway. There, oh, that's a good one. Out of those three crab apples, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten nice seeds. Same thing, just cover them. A bit of soil like that, and we're good. So we've got my maples, my, and my two crab apples down here. I just used this small watering can just to get a bit of water onto them initially, just to damp down the surface. And then I'll get my proper hose out and give them a good soak. These will just stay here then for the rest of the winter and hopefully in the springtime I'll have some trees. Along here we've got the other seeds that I collected in a previous video. So we've got the beech, the, the, um, the white beam, the horse chestnut, all that kind of stuff. And these are all just going to sit out here now, hopefully doing the thing. So massive thanks to Jason for sending me those seeds, really appreciate it. I'm going to return the favour by sending him one of my ground planted beech trees. Uh, I, think, I don't think I'll collect it until the spring, early spring, and obviously you can join me as I collect that and get it sent off to him. Check out Jason's channel, I'm going to put a link in the description. I love his content, you know, it's very chilled out, very relaxed, and he's got a good sense of humour, so... Go and give him a subscribe uh, if you like his content. And as always, thanks for joining me. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.